Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So now I'm looking at the 15 minute chart of the Australian dollar American dollar forex pair. As you see, I have two indicators attached to the chart. The first one is the alligator indicator that consists of three lines which are based on moving averages. The first line is the blue line, which is called the alligator's draw and it is a 13 periods smooth moving average that is displaced by eight bars to the right to the future uh, the second line the red line is the alligator's teeth and it is an eight periods smooth moving average that is displaced by five periods into the future and the third line is called uh, the alligator's lips which is a five period smooth moving average displaced by three periods to the future into the future at the bottom of the chart, I have the volume indicator. And currently, I see that the price action of the pair is forming a bearish trend. Like this. And I'm going to mark this trend with a trend line with some other brighter color. Maybe this magenta, something like a pink purplish. And as you see, the price is currently testing the trend line for third time. At the same time, I see that the two, uh, the three alligator lines have gained big distance between each other, meaning that there is a trend. When the lines are distance, distance, this means that we say that the alligator is eating. The mouth of the alligator is wide open, meaning that there is a trend. When the two lines are cr close to each other, like over here and like uh, over here, and they constantly cross and interrupt each other. We say that the alligator is sleeping, meaning that the pair is uh, rather ranging than trending. And now, since the alligator's mouth is wide open, and we pretty much have relatively high trading volume, uh, I plan to short the Australian dollar, American dollar forex pair in case the price bounces off the trend line and closes another bearish candle. And now I'm marking the increasing volume on the volume indicator. Yeah, like this. Notice that the volume has been decreasing during the last four periods, like here, here, here and here meaning that the current consolidation or a correction uh is like losing power currently which is the reason why i believe that the price is very likely to bounce off the purple bearish trend line and uh, this might even result on a increasing volume bar on the volume indicator which will be another signal for my short trade Okay, and since I, I'm not getting a signal, like a clear signal that the price is likely to decrease, I plan on pausing the video and I'll come back to you, uh, for example, in 15 minutes or in half an hour, um, in order to approach this trading opportunity again. Okay, guys, I'm back half an hour later to tell you that I'm going to short uh the australian dollar american dollar for pair for half lot on the assumption that the price will continue its decrease notice that we saw a little bounce over here and the price is about to create a new bottom at the same time i saw a pickup in the trading volume right over here which is uh, the reason why i believe that the trend will keep going as stated by the alligator indicator see that the mount is still wide open and I assume that I'm going to see another bearish impulse on the chart. At the same time, I plan to stay in my trade either until the price breaks the green band in bullish direction or until the green band breaks the red band in bullish direction. I cannot say which of the two signals I'm going to use. I'm going to decide this at the moment. So... What I'm going to do is to place a stop loss order 
so the trade will be protected in case of a sharp price move however i'm not going to use the stop loss order to close the trade i'm going to use signals that come from the alligator indicator so now let's mark the levels i put on the chart the stop loss order which is here to protect me from big volatile price moves and it is not meant to be hit here it is and my entry point it's going to go in white here it is all right the levels are good to go now i'm going to pause the video again and i'll come back to you later with the results from this trade Okay guys, I'm back about 16 hours later to tell you that this trade is still active and as you see the alligator indicator has been still wide open right over here. I saw some interruptions over here in the green line, the alligator slips. However, these were very like short in terms of time like over here. Like over here when i nearly closed my trade but i then saw a very sharp pullback in bearish direction which made me think that the price is very likely to continue the downtrend and this is exactly what it happened but still we don't have an interruption of the green line through the red line which is the reason i decided to stay with this signal i still not seeing this signal and i'm like uh, with i'm gonna tell you now it is like 68 pips profit from this trade and since it is <laughs> currently like 5 a.m. and I need to go to bed at some point I will uh, simply like move my stop loss order above the last significant top on the chart in order to lock in guaranteed profit like I just did and now my trade is 100% profitable on like 51 pips profit, 100% sure, risk free, and profitable. And now I plan on leaving this trade open with my adjusted stop loss order, which is currently very tight. So, in case the price decides to create like a bullish move, I will be protected with my stop loss order but I still believe that I have more to get from this trade because the bullish trend as you see is relatively strong so it can still keep going and this is the reason why I intend to leave this trade open with an just a stop loss order and now I am going to move uh, the line that indicate my stop loss order so I will be like I will have it like visualized on the chart in case the price hits the stop loss order and I will leave the trade unattended because um, as I said it's 5 a.m. and I cannot observe this trade forever but since I believe that it still has what to do in bearish direction I will keep it open and now I plan to pause the video again and I will get back to you tomorrow when I have the the total results from this trade okay guys I'm back about seven more hours later to show you that the price kept trending in my favor and I'm still with the trade open by the way notice that uh, during the night when I was off after I adjusted the stop loss order when I was out of my PC there was an interruption between the green and the red line but uh, when I got back to the PC I realized that the Australian dollar, American dollar kept trending in bearish direction. And now uh, I see another interruption, which is currently happening over here, of the yellow line through the red line. And this is like for a second time. And before the first interruption over here, we have a, like the two lines getting very close to each other, meaning that the corrections of the uh, of the bearish trend are getting longer and longer like over here and here and over here and uh, since I saw <coughs> the breakout through the uh, from the yellow uh, the breakout of the green line through the red line 
uh, I assume it is better to undertake something. Uh, not sure if I should exit the trade. Maybe I will leave it open uh, because maybe this correction will be finished again. But what I'm going to do now is to adjust my stop loss order one more time in order to lock in even more of the guaranteed profit. Here it is. Stop loss order was adjusted. At the same time, I take into consideration the last two bottoms on the chart here and here and now i'm starting to use some price action rules the stop loss order is above this trend line and if it gets broken uh, the trade will be closed uh, uh, will be closed uh, from the triggering of my stop loss order the other thing which I take into consideration when leaving uh, this trade open is the volume indicator. Notice that the volume is growing when the price is trending in bearish direction. Over here, let's change some colors. Uh, orange is fine. Here it is. See the the Aussie starts trending in bearish direction, volume growth. Then again, we have a correction over here, volume falls at the end of the correction. Here it is. Then we have an increasing volume over here again during the trend, meaning that when the volume is growing, uh, pair is trending in bearish direction, meaning that uh most of the players on the market are pretty much with bearish altitudes and there is a big chance that the pair continues in bearish direction at the same time the current correction which happens on the chart over here happens during decreasing volume slightly decreasing volume which makes me think that there might be another impulse on the chart uh, on increasing volume so now I'm going to pause the video again I forgot for which time I'm pausing the video now it's uh, like more than 24 hours already uh, I'm in this trade uh, and I will get back to you later with more results from this trade okay guys I'm back about three hours later to tell you that I'm still in the trade and as I planned the price bounced off the uh, pink bearish line I drew through the last two tops on the chart which created another top so we can consider this as a relatively not relatively but um, some kind of a uh, reliable slightly reliable support on the chart and now I plan to adjust my stop loss order even tighter because uh, in like 15 minutes there is going to be there are going to be some economic releases coming from the United States like the initial jobless claims the non-farm productivity, the United States trade balance, uh, as well as the unit labor costs. So I expect very high volatility, not very high, but like relatively high volatility because all these four events I just named are not of that, that big importance. Like, for example, the GDP report or um, the non-farm payrolls or the, you know, um, the employment change, etc., etc. But anyway, there will be volatility, so I'm going to, uh, I plan on adjusting the stop loss order tire, like somewhere in the middle between the current price action uh, and uh, its last level of the stop loss order. So I'm going to leave it over here. Notice that the price went below the 0.74 uh, support with the psychological level on the chart. I'm gonna mark it with uh, mm, Let's say orange No, I have orange already. I'm gonna mark it with um, Blue let's do blue But something lighter so we'll, we'll be able to see it here. It is uh, That's the level the price broke it and I adjusted my stop loss order above uh, this level at the same time you notice that I don't see my entry point anymore 
Uh, here it is. This is where I entered. Whoop. Right over here. Uh, okay, uh, in this relation, if the events are in my favor, I will, I can, you know, I will extend my gains uh, probably like uh, rapidly. But on the other hand, uh, if the gains are against me, I will like, uh, my trade will probably get closed by the stop loss order. So I think everything is fine. Let me zoom in. Sh should I like do it tire or still not sure? Let's switch to a smaller chart to see where we have some like a, a high, a more interesting high. I think I will adjust my stop loss order slightly, slightly higher. Uh, right over here, so I'll be able to contain uh, this stop over here at uh, 0 0.7404. So I think it will be okay. Notice that I, if I close my trade over here, you know, the distance between the stop loss order and the current price action is about uh, 0 0.739. Uh, it is about like, um, like almost uh, 14 pips. Which is like a pretty, you know, <laughs> I can close it and I can, you know, uh, skip risking these 14 pips. But uh, putting my stop loss order tire keeps it still in the market and I can, you know, uh, I can catch a bigger move uh, in case uh, the releases uh, from the United States are good. And... Uh, they provoke some kind of a bullish run of the American dollar, which means that the Aussie will go downward. So this is the plan. There, like eight minutes more until the release. So I will get back to you in like ten minutes to show you how, ten or fifteen minutes to show you what happened with the trade. If I'm still in the trade or if the trade is already closed. Okay, guys, I am back about thirty minutes later to show you that. Uh, the price of the Australian dollar, American dollar, Forex pair did not do uh, that much of a move. Uh, and uh, the move was totally contained by my stop loss order, which still stays at 0 0.7404. See that the price created a swing in bullish direction, but then it sharply decreased back. This is how it looks on the 15 minute chart. Uh, nothing very unusual. Notice that the price stopped exactly at the 0 0.74 support, which is high, which is already a resistance, uh, psychological resistance, and then it bounced back in bearish direction. So the bearish move can be resumed. Uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, by the way, I need to mention that uh, most of the economic events from the United States were like better than expected, like the initial jobless claims, uh, the trade balance as well as the unit labor costs. Uh, but for example, the non-farm productivity uh, in the US was announced at a worse than expected rate. Uh, and there was pretty much a balance in the forces. But the interesting thing is that uh, notice that the volume grow, of course, when there is economic announcement, volume grows, volatility grows as well. And uh, forex pairs get crazy. This is why you should tackle such situations with adjusting your stop loss order tie or with uh, totally exiting your trade because uh, you don't want to like lose all you've already gained uh, in a flash for no reason. Uh, notice the bearish trend that I got into. It started over here and it's last two over here. I managed to hop in here at uh, 0 0.7483 and the price is now at 0 0.7394 so this is almost 100 pips yeah this is uh, something like uh, around 90 pips approximately pretty pretty good result very good result Mm, the dilemma here is uh, if I should adjust my stop loss order higher. Uh, by the way, I plan to do so because uh, notice that 
Yes. Notice that the price action has been bouncing over here in this like channel or something like an expanding triangle maybe. And there are some signs that the bearish run is hesitating. See that the trend was relatively sharp, but suddenly it slowed down over here. And uh, maybe the price is likely to do bigger correction. But what I can do now is either to leave the stop loss as it is, uh, hoping that the price will not return, but I believe it's very likely that the price return. So what I can do is to adjust the stop loss order higher. So it will uh, it will contain the upper uh, purple line you see on the chart, the one that connects the tops like I did the last time. So I'm going to do this. And by the way, this will not cost me like much because uh, since the price is moving downward, uh, since the price is moving downward, the upper level of the pink channel you're looking at is moving downward as well. So I need to move the stop loss order uh, with not that much in order to contain it. So I did it. Now I'm going to return the red horizontal line on this on its place. By the way, this video recording will appear to be like maybe more than 20 minutes. It's going to be a long one because um, uh, the trade I took was on the 15 minute chart with the alligator indicator and. Um, <laughs> Uh, that signal put me in a, like a bigger trade where I, I managed to catch a big bearish trend and I am uh, already like maybe 30 hours in the market. I usually don't do when I shoot the live trading uh, examples because uh, honestly <laughs> it takes a lot of time to shoot the video. Take a look at this. I'm shooting it for a second day and it is still not ready and maybe this trade will continue even like longer. You never know but here it is. The trend is already here. But we should not skip the fact that this is like an expanding triangle which has bearish inclination and very often these patterns lead to price increases. So in case this pattern gets broken in bullish direction, I believe that my stop loss order is located on a very good place and the price will simply hit the stop loss order and close my trade on profit. Currently my stop loss order guarantees me a guarantees a profit of 68 pips which is a relatively good amount it's wonderful by the way and uh, I'm going to do the calculation the percentage calculation profit when I'm done with the trade because every time you know I, I just my stop loss order and uh, this constantly changes the result from the trade but we'll do the calculation and we will summarize what we did from this trade but now let's pause the video again and I'll come back to you later when I have even more results from this interesting and exciting short trade at the Australian dollar, American dollar, Forex pair. Okay, guys, I'm back 30 more minutes later to tell you that this time I plan on closing the trades because I see few signals that imply uh, the eventual reversal on the chart. And now I'm closing the trade because I assume that the price might jump in bullish direction. So I'm closing it right now. Voila, done. And I'm going to mark the level at which I close the trade over here. And now I, tell, I will tell you why I did this. Uh, my target should be marked with green. Not target, but the accomplished thing. So, first of all... Uh, when we zoom out the chart and we look at the trend, the trend I traded, we see that slowdown over here that resembles an expanding triangle. That's fine. When we zoom in more, we see the upper and the lower level of this expanding triangle over here. See that the price is currently bouncing in bullish direction. So, in this relation, I assume that there is there will be at least a run to the upper level of this pattern that resembles an expanding triangle or a channel, not sure exactly. Furthermore, notice that the current candle that closed, the last one, happened during very big trading volumes, which make me believe that the return to the upper level is very likely to occur. Uh, at the same time, I see a candle pattern over here. 
here it is. A candle pattern that is called tree inside up, where we have a bearish candle, uh, then a smaller bullish candle that takes nearly half of the previous candle, and another bullish candle that breaks the top of the first bearish candle. And this is a bullish candle that suggests that the price will run. And the biggest signal which I took into consideration to close my trade uh, could be seen. On a bigger chart of course this is the daily chart when we stretch the Fibonacci levels on the previous trend we see that the current price bounce happens at the 61.8 Fibonacci level over here which is the reason I don't want to risk any more from this trade and I keep seeing more and more signals that Persuade me to close the trade. For example, I see another channel over here. There it is. Uh, and notice that the price is currently bouncing off the lower level of this channel as well. So signal after signal, a lot of bullish signals in my record currently that the price will probably return. But... Uh, we should not forget that uh, I pretty much did a lot in this trade and it is like a very like a very profitable trade because I entered somewhere at the beginning of the trend like at uh, 0.7483 and I closed the trade at 0.7395 I believe let me zoom in yeah here it is 0.7395 and this is a very very good result. Now I'm going to do the calculation in order to, to see the percentage profit from this trade. All right, cool. So now let me take the cursor. So it's like an 88 pips trade. 88 pips profit which uh, equals to 0 0.0088 uh, from the current exchange rate of the Australian dollar, American dollar, Forex pair. And when I divide this amount by the entry price, which is 0 0.7483, I get a result of 0 0.0. 11.75.99.89. When I multiply this by 100, I get a result of 1.18% approximately, 1.18% approximately pure profit from this trade that took nearly, maybe, whew, maybe about 32, 33 or 34 hours. I'm not exactly sure, but. Uh, I should admit that this was a very good trade and this is the longest trade I managed to get on a video record for you guys because I usually, as you know, I try to keep stuff like simple in order to be able to demonstrate how a certain indicator or a chart pattern works. And uh, in this case, I was just forced to, I was forced to stay longer in the trade because it appeared that I hopped into an emerging trend uh that i still cannot say it's interrupted but if this trend is still going i will simply hop in the trade one more time i simply exited because i saw too many bullish signals and i assumed that a pullback is on its way and uh, this is why i closed the trade and i prefer to collect my 1.18 percent without getting my stop loss order hit because i if i had my stop loss order hit i would have Reduced my profit with uh, nearly 20 pips and I really didn't want to do this So this was the reason why I closed the trade So thank you very much again guys for your patience. This was Damian from forexboat.com looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session And until then I wish you happy forex trading